Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can enhance and whiten teeth in Photoshop 2020. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel, and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Now in this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how you can enhance and whiten teeth in Photoshop. Now this is part of a running series on uh, my YouTube channel called Enhanced Portrait Series where basically I go over certain aspects and parts of portrait photography to show you how you can improve and enhance your photography skills. So I've already created one all about how to enhance eyes and sharpen them. I've also made uh, one on how to improve skin and enhance that in your photos. And today we're gonna to be talking about how you can enhance and whiten teeth. Now guys, if you want to have use any of the photos that I'll be using in this tutorial, make sure go to the link in the description and you can download it from there. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is choose what photo that you want to enhance and whiten the teeth. Now guys, if you want to use the same photo that I'll be using in the tutorial, so you can follow along step by step with the same photo, go to the link in the description and you can download it from there. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to head over to Photoshop and all we need to do is select the photo. So I've got the photo here and this is the photo that we're going to whiten the teeth. Now, uh, the first thing we want to do is work out what area or we need to create a selection of what area that we need to whiten. So we can either use the lasso tool, the quick selection tool, the pen tool, or even the select tool. So we can go and select our color range up here. But today, what I'm going to be using is the pen tool, as I find it's the most efficient way uh, of creating a nice smooth cutout. So we want to start on a certain area. So I'm going to start here. And then what you want to do is just use the pen tool to go all the way around the area that you want to whiten. Now it's quite important that we try and create uh, the best selection possible. So try and spend as much time on this particular section as possible because this is what we will, will really improve the uh, look and detail of when we want to uh, change the whiteningness of the teeth. Because if we do this quite quickly, it might notice that it won't select all of it or select too much and it won't, it won't look correct. So if we can spend as much time on creating this selection to make that as best as possible, then that will really do, that will really improve on your photography. So what we're going to do is just go along here. Now if you do make a mistake, what we can do is go back into our path and we can uh, change it or we can even change it with the brush tool after the fact. And I'm going to show you what happens if we make a mistake later on. So I'm going to head up there and then all you need to do is finish off is to find where you started and all you need to do is click and that will finish off with the path tool. Lovely, so you should end up with a selection that looks similar to this. Brilliant. So what we need to do now is we need to turn this path tool into a selection. So what we can do is head over to our paths panel at the right hand side here and we want to select the panel or the path that we have just made. So we can see we've got a work path here so all we need to do is double click and we need to save it with a name. So what we can do is I'm just going to save it with its default path 3 but you can name it if you like. And then all we need to do is just press OK and what that will do is that will save the path so we can go back and add or remove things later on, which I always think is quite important and a non-destructive way of working with Photoshop. So the next thing we want to do is create a selection. So we want to do press is hold down command on your keyboard and then what you want to do is ho hover over the thumbnail of path three and as you can see it comes up with a little box with a selection and all you need to do is click and as you can see it turns that path into a selection which is exactly what we're after. So the next thing we want to do is to add a slight feather or a slight blur to this selection. As, as you can see, it is not completely sharp all the way round. And if we did it with a harsh edge, it won't look realistic. 
So what we can do is head up to select and then what we want to do is go to modify. Now as you can see there are a bunch of different uh, options here but the one we want to select is feather. So what we'll do is click feather and what that will do is it will just create a slight kind of uh, gradient or a slight blur to the edge of where the selection is and you can choose by how much of a radius. So what we're going to do is select two pixels. Lovely. And then all we need to do is press OK. Now if it's slightly blurrier, I'd increase the amount. Or if it's slightly sharper, I would reduce the amount. But for this particular photo, two pixels will work perfect. Brilliant. So what we need to do now is we need to whiten and enhance the contrast of the teeth. So we're going to be using two adjustment layers. But the first one we're going to apply is hue and saturation. So we're going to go to our adjustment layers panel. And then we're going to go up to hue and saturation and click that there. And as you can see, the selection has disappeared, but the selection has turned into a layer mask attached to the hue and saturation, which is perfect. So that means any change that we make now will only affect the teeth. So what we, can, what we want to do now is just remove the yellow. Now what we want to do is make sure we've got our master selected, so that will select all of the hues in the selection that we've made. And what we want to do is just reduce the saturation. And as you can see, the teeth are immediately getting whiter, which is perfect. Now we don't want to go all the way, as you can see, because it turns it to black and white and it just doesn't make it look realistic at all. So we want a slight amount of color in it. We just want to reduce the saturation to around, probably around maybe if we go for 60, which I think works perfectly. So if we see the before and after, already it's whitened the teeth. But the problem is, is it's darkened the teeth slightly and it's added quite a lot of grey to it, which again doesn't look right and doesn't look realistic. And we can fix this by increasing the amount of contrast and brightness. So what we want to do is head down to the adjustment layers and we want to choose either curves, level or brightness and contrast. Any of these will work, but today I'm going to be using curves. So what we're going to do is select curves, but we only want it to affect the teeth. Now we've already made a selection, so we can go to our paths panel, we can go and select our path three, and then we can command click and create a selection. Or what you can do, which is a little bit quicker, you can go to the uh, layer mask we've already made, we can hold down alt and drag that onto our curves layer. Now we'll come up with this, which will ask us to replace the layer mask, we want to click yes. And as you can see, it's created the exact same layer mask or copied the layer mask of the hue and saturation layer onto our curves layer. So what we can do now is head into our curves and we can just increase the amount of whites and then we want to probably decrease slightly the amount of blacks. So as you can see, we're just bringing out the amount of white in the teeth, like so. We can also bring the white up slightly there as well and again guys we can also go back into hue and saturation we can either increase or decrease the amount we can even change the hue slightly so what we can do is we can add a little bit of red to it and then we can reduce it again so just to make it look a little bit more realistic and matches with the rest of the image brilliant so if we hold down the alt and click on background we can see the before and after on how to enhance and whiten teeth in Photoshop 2020. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is how you can enhance and whiten teeth in Photoshop 2020. And hopefully that will make your portrait photography stand out and look a lot more improved. Again guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future content. Also guys, I've got a few designs out on the Teespring store for t-shirts, hoodies, and a variety of other different merchandise. So if you want to support the channel and get some great design t-shirts, then head down to the link in the description. And you can use my promo code CREATE20. But until next time guys, keep creating.